Let's talk about Spider-Man. So, if you've been keeping up to date with what's been happening in the MCU recently, then you know why Marvel fans across the nation are really pissed off. Specifically, Spider-Man fans. To briefly sum it up, after Spider-Man Far From Home was released, the deal between Sony and Disney that was keeping Spidey in the MCU ended. And because Sony and Disney were unable to reach an agreement on a new deal, Spider-Man was just straight up removed from the MCU. No more Spidey flicks in the MCU, that's it, he's gone, dunzo. This had Spidey fans reeling, many threatening to boycott Sony products and future Sony films. One guy even said he was going to smash his PS4 if they didn't bring back Spidey. On the bright side, Tom Holland announced that he's not giving up his role as Spider-Man and will continue to play the web-slinger in future films. But the bad news is, the future Spidey films will be from Sony only. The people that brought you Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home aren't going to be involved with future Spidey flicks. So take that as you will, but the main thing a lot of people are angry about is the reason why Disney and Sony failed to come up with a new deal. The short, simple answer is, that both sides just wanted to find a way to make more money off of Spider-Man than the other. This clip from Screen Rant illustrates my point perfectly. Listen, Sony guy, I guess we can compromise and you just give me everything I asked for. Uh, that is one way, or we can compromise and just keep things the way they are. Uh, it doesn't sound like I'd get more money out of that situation. No, I would. Well, then it's settled. I will make all the money and own uh, all the things. That's not, no, no, I don't agree with that. I mean, just let us own Spider-Man. We own everything. You're being weird. You're being weird. I'm taking Spider-Man and I'm leaving. <laughs> And that's pretty much how it went down, no joke. Both sides just want to make as much money as possible off of a character that millions of people grew up with and learned to honor as their hero. But the problem with that is it's not even their creation. Spider-Man, along with all the other Marvel heroes we've come to know and love over the years, came from the brilliant mind of Stan Lee. And I guarantee you, if this remarkable guy was still here with us today, this is not the outcome he would have wanted. Think about it. Millions of fans left distraught because two different companies are fighting over the character you created but don't even own anymore. Let that sink in.